Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and uh, today we're in the greater Ottawa region. Sorry, I had my mask on, so I'll just keep it partially worn. Uh, as you can tell, this video is being filmed during the pandemic. So uh, we are in the greater Ottawa region. Uh, we're actually on Montreal Road. We're taking a look at this 1979 Corvette. And I'm just walking around, uh, just showing you the overall condition of the vehicle. Just the paintwork. It's a little bit dirty, so you can see, like, uh, for example, here, like, there is dirt. Uh, so it needs to be cleaned off. And small imperfections here and there, as you can see. I mean, there's a, this one is a little bit... Actually, it's not too bad in terms of alignment. Fuel filler. Just very, very iconic vehicle. Really nice looking too. Small imperfections here and there as I will uh, highlight during the uh, walk around during the video. So there's a scratch here. Here's the VIN number. I've taken a lot of pictures of the car already. So uh, the V8, it's a 350. I did the coolant freezing temperature and I checked the um, the clutch on the radiator fan or the uh, engine fan. So there was an air conditioning installed here, but it's been removed. But the provisions are there. You can see uh, the hoses are partially still there here as well. The um, oil dipstick, when I pulled it out, I'll just show you where it is. So, the oil dipstick is right there. When I pulled out the oh, to check out for oil, I wasn't able to find any. So, But the engine did start. I did start it. As you can see, it's empty. So, it needs to be topped up at least. Um... Just looking at telltale signs here, you can see a little bit of uh, uh, glue that was used in this area. So the mileage, and I haven't taken the car for a test drive yet, but so I don't know if the mileage works. This is part of the birdcage area of the vehicle. That's where the doors, the doors connect to. Um, seems all right it's it's a I mean it, it is rusty but uh, overall not bad you can see still behind this layer you can see a little bit of signs of rust in there and uh, but overall it's uh, even from the undercarriage which I've, which I've taken a lot of pictures of you can see that um, it's starting to show some rust so here, this is loose, but it does, um, if you force it, it will click to both sides. The steering wheel on the vehicle, the stitching needs to be redone. So the car needs some work, but... Some scratches here. This one is, it seems like it's like a, a glue layer that's here too, but this seems to be the previous color of the car, and then this is just rubbing into the body. You can see little cracks here too. The, uh, the top looks nice and clean. Maybe a redo the rubber on it. And, uh, someone needs to redo the trim because uh, it's starting to fade or maybe it was originally shiny and someone uh, put a, a layer of black in there So 
so we're just walking around just showing you uh, here you have small cracks to the corner of the window the tires are in pretty good shape they're made in 2012 I believe uh, 2000 yeah 2012 28th week and then uh, uh, I don't work here they're inside sorry about that so um, uh, we were talking about the tires sorry um, it just happens that um, someone was asking about someone to talk to at the dealership there you go and this is the tire tread depth so they're almost at 10 30 seconds and the uh, front the size of the tire is 2 uh, 55 60 r15 uh, and in the rear with about 40 percent brakes remaining in the rear we're still at 10 30 seconds here and 25560 r15 and this tire was made on the 23rd week of 2012 um i'll bring a flashlight just so we'll have a better not sure what's happening here sorry about that the camera just decided or the gimbal just decided to fail All right, so what I was trying to show, well, you can see here a little bit. I'll give you a good idea of uh, the amount of rust in the, in the undercarriage, the exhaust too. And um, here it is in the front end of the rear wheel well. And here we are in the front wheel well. We still haven't uh, looked thoroughly inside, which I will do shortly. It's the engine bay. The clutch for the fan seems to be new. No leaks or anything like that. But you can see the access for uh, that's where I was able to check the brakes actually uh, the brake pad remaining in the front which is not much uh, in the front there are at about 20% remaining I believe on the brakes the antenna is uh, missing it's not it's not an unusual thing for these uh, for these vehicles. A little crack on the paint there. This is a spare tire that I wanted to show. There you go. That seems to be an old spare tire or uh, relevant to the era when the car was manufactured. So I'd highly recommend changing the spare. The rubber you can see if I try to focus on it you can see some rubber that's rotting right in the center of the image uh, it seems to be a rear stabilizer of some sort exhaust is not bad the exhaust uh, system is not bad. I actually started the engine before doing the inspection because we had to move it a little bit. You can see a uh, little repaint work uh, to this area right here. I'll highlight it. It's right there. So if I was to go and follow this line right there. Here is the passenger side, rear wheel well, again, 
same thing pretty much some uh, patches that were added that you can see small scratches here right there The vacuum lines for the headlights seem to be installed. Um, I need to verify and check, but until now I wasn't able to get 100% confirmation on that yet. So uh, we haven't taken the car for a test drive yet, so that's going to be part of the test drive. Okay, I tried the wipers. Uh, I tried the wipers on the car and they don't seem to be uh, functioning even though I did hear the motor come on but the wipers were not functional and uh, alternator wiring I think something's been changed here but it's not it's not unexpected I mean it it is a 1979 Let's go into the interior and maybe start the engine too. So these are the keys. The circular ones are to open the doors and the square or rectangular one is to uh, Start the ignition and start the engine. and park, put the ignition. I'll let it idle a little bit. It started out better the first time. It seems like I choked the carburetor this time around. Right now the engine is running nice and smooth, the radio is working, blower fan is working, you can, have, you can have a reading on the alternator voltage, oil, fuel, temperature, and I'm not sure that the watch is, or the clock is working.
try to open the door and I'll have some pictures of the passenger side a little more in detail. It's the glove compartment. You can see that uh, the paint or the carpets are kind of peeling from the passenger side. Idle finally, engine warmed up a little bit. Yeah, so you can see, I think the, the lights are not coming up. It's not an unknown issue for these cars. You can see the headlights are on, but I think there is a problem, there might be a problem with the vacuum lines that uh, actuate the, the headlights. So uh, when I was checking the, the coolant freezing temperature, I had a little bit of a spillage of coolant here because this hose came off. So I put it back and I cleaned up under. I'm gonna close the hood, which means it might, the picture might be distorted a little bit. Sorry about that. There you go. There you go. Nice and closed because when I was first taking pictures of the car, I noticed that this was not clipped back on. So it is now. Stone chip here, you can see it. in the rear here you have an AC Delco battery and then you have two compartments for storage I've taken pictures of them already and uh, you can see the roof liner from inside just grab a flashlight for that so you'll see it better like this flashlight it turns night into day basically there you go all right we'll do a 
we'll do a final walk around. Before we take the car out for a test drive. So, uh, as I said, I've taken a lot of pictures of the car already. Uh, you'll find it in the description section wherever you're watching this. Um, and uh, this uh, video is going to stay in the private collection until a deal is made out on the car. So, if you see this video uh, publicly shared, then most likely a deal has already been made on the vehicle or uh, the seller has opted uh, to make a decision on, on the car, basically. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, or if you have any questions about this engine or this car, or, or what, what's a, a birdcage um, of a Corvette is, uh, let us know in the uh, questions, or just ask the questions in the comment section, and uh, we'll try to help you as much as we can. So this has been Sinan from Car Inspected and that was a pre-purchase inspection on this classic 1979 Corvette and uh, we are in the greater Ottawa region today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.